Journal Entry, August 31st. I was at the grocery store today in the wine aisle. I think I was trying to make a sophisticated decision in choosing a wine, but soon had to accept that I don't actually know the difference between one wine or the other. I chose the cheapest one that looked the most French because I figured that would be better for some reason. When I got that, I was looking over my list to see what else I needed to get, and I got a weird jolt of recognition. My ex-girlfriend was there in the store, looking at the cheese display. I have long wondered how I would feel if I saw her again, if I would be happy or upset. I think I tried to convince myself that it wouldn't bother me at all, but it was hard not to notice that I was doing my best to stay out of her line of sight. In the same way your life is supposed to flash in front of your eyes as you drive off a cliff, I noticed our whole relationship was flashing through my head. The good stuff, the sweet stuff, the food, the arguments, the drinks, the drunken arguments, the silent treatments, the sulking in the bathroom at 2 a.m. after she went to sleep, and so on. When I settled down a bit, I thought, well, that's all water under the bridge. I should go say hello to her. She's a big part of my past. Civilized people should be able to do this. And then instinctively, I took the SpaghettiOs and hot dogs out of my shopping basket because she always hated it when I got those. Then I thought, wait a second, what am I doing? What do I care if she approves of the food I'm getting? That's none of her business anymore. But then I thought, at the same time, I wouldn't want to go over to her like, see, see, since you've been gone, I eat all the junk food I want. Because really, who knows where that could lead? It could turn into one of those conversations like, everything's been going really well for me lately. I've been very happy without you. I've been much happier without you than you've been without me. I got promoted at work, I make a lot more money, and my new boyfriend is a surgeon. I feel freer now than I ever have in my life. He has a big house, a BMW, and an 11 and a half inch penis, and so on and so forth. I decided that I should just get out of there. But as I was walking over to the checkout, I thought, I don't know for sure that we'd get into an argument. What if she needed to ride home? What if she was having a bad day and I could cheer her up a little? I realized that I still had the instinct to be protective and want to help her, even though I remember having only moderate success in doing so. I looked back over at the cheese display. Her basket was still there, but she wasn't. She must have gone to another part of the store. I went over and had a look at what she was getting. Rice, chicken, tomatoes, butter, onion. And then I thought, you know something, I'll bet she's making chicken biryani like she used to for us, but it looks like she forgot the garlic paste again. She almost always forgot ingredients when she cooked, and they usually led her to make some really weird spice substitutions. I went and got her a jar of garlic paste and started looking around the store, but I couldn't find her. The more I looked, though, the more I started getting this weird feeling in my stomach, and I started to wonder if I could not find her, because deep down, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to. Anyway, I went back over to her basket, dropped the garlic paste in there, and I left. Tales of Mere Existence is funded in part by viewers like you. Make your contribution today at Lev's Patreon page here. And as always, please subscribe. Watch this video and this one, etc., etc. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.